All right. Good evening, morning, night, late night, whatever it is for you. Uh, this is the fourth uh, Wix online meeting. Um, we're going along. We have a short agenda, I think, uh, to get going, and then we're going to go to triage, which is where we need to spend the bulk of our time, as we say, every week. All right, moving on. The agenda for this week is uh, we're going to talk about uh, VS 2008 deprecation. Uh, that's votive you know, support and things like that. Bob's going to talk about that since he's running the 3X line. Um, and then we'll do triage. And since I forgot to mention this earlier, remember this is recorded for all those people that weren't here now so that they can watch later. And uh, the results of this are posted on YouTube. And I apologize, I'm a little late on last week since I've been sick all this week. They will show up probably together today. All right, moving on. Bob, the floor is yours for VS 2008 deprecation. Well, look at that nice little table. Um, so this table shows kind of the problem that we're looking at uh, moving forward. Uh, the Visual Studio team uh, going all the way up to the vice president of developer division has said that they want to iterate more quickly on Visual Studio. Um, you know, you can, you can see the, the version numbers, the year numbers, and the product names on the uh, slide right up here. Uh, it used to be you'd go to two to three years between releases, and uh, now, like Windows, the goal is to iterate more quickly. Um, every year to 18 months is what they've been talking about. Um, this is a problem when we want to support older versions because the newer versions are going to pile up more quickly. Um, for Wix 3.8, um, my proposal is to mark Visual Studio 2008 support as deprecated, meaning that it will be there. Uh, you know, we'll we'll fix bugs. We'll we'll treat it as a real thing, but marked it it's it's marked for death it it will not be present in wix 39 um, you know we we need to cut from behind i think visual studio 2008 is it, it was kind of one of those releases it was you know popular for a while i think with uh visual studio 2010 there they they kind of hit a uh uh, <laughs> I call Visual Studio 2010 the Windows XP of Visual Studio, meaning that it's going to be around for a long time. You know, it's the last version that fully supported uh, Windows XP. Um, it's the version that few, few, few people complain about the UI yeah. as compared to, you know, VS 2012. Lots of people really hate the gray themes. Um, I suspect that that Visual Studio 2010 will be around for, for quite a while. Um, I don't get that feeling that, that you know, kind of presence and, you know, on blogs and news and what whatnot about VS 2008. Um, so basically, 3.8 is basically, we're, we're not changing anything except to say that in the future, VS 2008 will go away. Um, now, does this mean we do need to do a little bit more bug testing on 2008 to make sure that we deprecate it in a state that is uh, working? Uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, I think, uh, you know, looking looking at the bugs, poking around the, the ones that we haven't yet triaged, I don't see a whole lot that says that VS 2008 is not already well supported. Um, uh, evidence could be presented to, to you know, say otherwise, but I don't know that we have to do a whole lot of work. I guess I'm thinking more of the, as we bring on 2013, that we don't break 2008 in some way that we don't then detect. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think, well, so so I'm doing a lot of work in Votive uh, lately, and part of doing that and to kind of deprecate or prepare for the deprecation um, is to uh, claw apart how Votive is built. Uh, right now, there's a lot of code in Votive that's shared among VS 2008 and VS 2010. Uh, I think if we kind of break that apart, it's we're kind of increasing duplication, which I don't like. 
but it will make it easier for, you know, in Wix 3.9 to just delete these things. My understanding also is that 2008 or 2010 is more like the things that came after it than the things that came before it. Uh, yeah, that's that's fair to say. Um, there, so basically, each each version of Visual Studio uh, supports, for the most part, supports code designed for previous versions. Um, but there are some exceptions, and certainly in Votive, what we found is that. The, the managed package framework, MPF, to those who are familiar with Visual Studio extensibility, uh, it, it is changing, not dramatically, but they do make changes each time to support the new things and to you know, fix bugs, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, what we do in Votive is we actually have two versions of Votive. There's the 2008 version and the 2010 version. Uh, the 2010 version we use today in uh, for VS 2012, and it's not perfect. There are several bugs in Votive about um, actual crashes that come about because we're using the 2010 version of the MPF. Mm. And going forward, I would like to kind of, you know, I guess in a way what we need to do is, in general, we need to break apart these things. So this, this was kind of the the key things that got me thinking about deprecating VS 20, uh, 2008 is if we actually need vote of 2010, vote of 2012, and maybe vote of 2013 as entirely separate uh, pro uh, project systems, uh, we need to figure out a way to, to not keep carrying around um, every single version. Um, my goal is to build VS 2012 votive and use it in both 2012 and 2013. We'll see how that pans out. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, as we get closer to the you know present day, uh, using those libraries and that functionality, it's more likely that we're going to uh, keep votive running smoothly on future versions. Right. All right. Um, so one clarification I want to make on this table, um, since we kind of threw it together at the last minute, is that the Etsy column there is kind of the um, the things that you use to detect Visual Studio and, you know, basically the WXS files that can tell you that Visual Studio 2008 and stuff is already installed in your machine. Uh, that's kind of a right once and to keep it in a fragment somewhere. And so we'll we'll bring that along. I don't know that we'll bother to do the work to delete that, but um, you'll be able to detect and talk about 2008 in your installer by using our built-in, you know, detection logic, but, so that's why it's still present, even though the actual work of creating libs and stuff like that, you know, using Wix inside Visual Studio 2008 is what will be deprecated. That's what that last column is trying to show. Um, so... Um, on that front, looks like we have one question coming in. Um, what about CA, so custom actions? Do you mean, uh, Neil, here? Neil, since you're here, why don't I just unmute you? I'm going to, if you have voice, you can just ask your question, because that could be taken a couple ways. Do you mean the custom actions, building custom actions in 2008, or custom actions, I don't know if there are any custom actions that target 2008? Uh, can you hear me OK? Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I just meant um, support for building them. Really. Um, I just wondered whether uh, I was actually yeah. um, going down the path yeah. of so, um, maybe it's easier to drop them. Yeah. <laughs> no. The native. Yeah. The native lives are what you need to create custom actions and things like that, and that's going away. Right. So um, one thing we're not talking about here, but we probably could talk about. Um, and I don't know if I haven't thought about it much, is um, when you cut Visual Studio 2008 support, you also have the option of cutting Visual Studio or um, MS Build 3.5 support, which means you could go all MS Build 4. Um, I'd, I would note that Wix v4 has already cut Visual Studio 2008 support and moved to MS Build 4 only to cut the tail out of Wix 4. Granted, that's a breaking change release and all kinds of big stuff. So 
Um, I don't know that we have to decide that now, but it's something to consider, Bob, is that we'd actually maybe be able to get rid of all the um, MS Build 3.5 support, which makes our targets even more complicated, as I know, because I just cleaned them up significantly in Wix 4. And, and also there's a lot of stuff in heat to, to support both versions of MS mm, Build. I see, yes. So, so to, to close on Neil's question, no, you probably would not be able to write custom actions in 2008. Essentially, by deprecating 2008, we're, it's, you're going to have to stay on Wix 3.8 as the last Wix release of Wix that allows you to build setup type stuff in 2008. What will continue to move forward is the, the ability to detect, you know, include logic in your 2010 or later built projects to detect 2008 and stuff like that. So it's the same way that we still support detecting Windows XP, although I'm not sure that we support building Wix on it. Um, so, you know, you can say that you're running on Wix, um, on Windows XP, but I don't know what happens if you try to build Wix on Windows XP. Yeah, that's a good question. I haven't tried that in a while. Yeah, and, and you know, it's like I have a VM enough so I can send the installer back. All right, so we have another... Uh, a couple of questions. All right, so we're now moving in the question and answer period. So this is great. I am happy that you people are um, asking questions. Um, yeah, all right. So Blair basically gave a plus one for the um, the doing the MS Build or the Wix MS Build 3.5 drop support. I don't know if people use MS Build 3.5 without using Visual 2008. Like I don't know all the things that go on in that. We can again, we can debate that on another day, I think, but this certainly will make the world interesting. All right, so um, other questions, comments, things that we should cover this week, today. Otherwise, we're going to go off to um, things. Anything else? No? All right, well, thank you for joining the status update. Um, if you have questions, comments about, you know, Visual Studio 2008 support in the future, as in you think 3.9 and later should have it, um, you probably should get on Wix devs and start having a conversation. Um, otherwise, based on the general, what seem, people seem to be at right now, nobody seems to have that big an issue. Um, not that that helps us ship 3.8 any faster. We still have to support it all. So um, with that, thank you for attending, and we'll be on to triage here very shortly.